Hey guys, good afternoon. I'm in a better place today because I finally got my federal uh, refund today and I caught my bills up, so that's it's fantastic. Um, appreciate my bank. I've been with them for 20 years, so I'm not like, never, nevertheless, um, it only cost me $30, including an overdraft fee today. So, now the overdraft was like last week. So I'm thankful for that. I noticed I've shaved this morning. I was considering getting a haircut, but I've pretty much got like, I think $80 at the moment. And I'm not that keen on blowing it all, you know? So, let's see. It's gonna drive down and, um, Maybe sit by the water and draw, or go back to my laptop and work on my work again. Something, but I'm gonna try to. I feel like I'm in a better position now that I've kind of experienced like more lack. That I'm not gonna just like I said go and just blow the money. It's a creeping suspicion, you know, like or that that like that arisen sentiment when I look at like the Duncan's app and I feel like, oh, I have access to this now again, you know, but I said, feel better, you know, there's better prospects. I just wish I didn't get, uh, got some butter, like I was made popcorn the other day and like, I took it out of the microwave and I just put the bag like against my shirt for like a second. I, I don't remember why. And then I was like, oh God. Uh, stupid though, I um, I didn't wash it off with soap and water. I think I just washed it off with like water. Just, I should have just tried to at least clean it a bit, but I was thinking the shirt's like white anyway in the bottom. I can probably just bleach it right. Get most of the stain off. I just walked in to use the bathroom and I just realized it probably looks like I got <laughs> like stabbed or something. I mean it's not like it's not like like brown but and it's like I said in the area like I'm well I mean that's what I imagined anyway it's not really it's not like a big circle it's like kind of just a whatever but uh you know that's what I have going on should get my state refund relatively soon. Um, one of my credit cards, they I got an offer to settle it with my um, relief company, and I really appreciate that. And uh, it's got like two other bills on there. One's a major one, and one's I could have gotten knocked off, but I didn't have insurance at the time. So, yeah. I have ideas of where I want to be, I guess, but I have the same doubt as maybe other people do, that it seems like there is no one destination in life, it's just, you know, it's like trying to pick your favorite spot on a field. You know, there's like, there's benefits of doing anything, you know, there's, there's draws and it's just like, I guess, they probably say just to go kind of go with the flow of things in a way and that's probably all you can really do because like things beget other things and it's like having a focus and when you focus on something you go through trials and tribulations and you begin to believe that those are like factors of life like set factors of life, but they're really just roadblocks in specific directions. It's basically like, you know, moving through quicksand. Doesn't matter what direction you pick, you're gonna end up with obstacles. You know? And I'm not, uh, if you find a more positive way to, to put it, you know, if I suggest a more positive way to put it, sorry. Looking from a distance here, my eyebrows are like big. They're like big anyway, but. 
Like one of the guys from uh, Emperor's New Groove. Like it was like, yeah. <laughs> um, so there's, there's a lot to be thankful for though, specifically the people in your life, you know, the things certainly, but the other beings and souls that join you in it, they're the things to be thankful for and appreciate. You know, everybody that you run into, everybody that you know or meet. You know, that's uh, that's one of those things that really should be a, um, what's the term? Those things, like, there's no, like, non-combatable or it's um, non -re some I can't even think of the word but something that should go without saying in any scenario just to appreciate and you know live life and take care of the people that join you in life that surround you in life that you meet in life you know and that people should take care of other people not on hand and foot, really, for them, that's not what I'm saying, but I think it's just, it's fear and us expressing ourselves and our annoyance, and maybe it's, maybe people just put up a front, but I usually express myself with people and they seem to be cool with me, so, you know, maybe the evidence of that really is that people aren't really knocking down my door, even though they're nice to me in all of the places. But it's mainly just understanding and not taking things so personally. And, and people, I guess some people are wired to act just like that. They're, just, they're constantly being just pulled and sprung and, and pulled in, in a certain direction. You know, being like so drawn to their destination that like anything that gets in the way is just, it's just a temporary block. Well, uh, I'll leave it at that, and I want to talk to like meta for like ten minutes or whatever. So I will. Uh, I'll catch you tomorrow. Okay. Get those taxes done <laughs> later.